Hello my little willies. In today's tutorial you are going to learn how to knit the half brioche stitch pattern. First of all it's really easy to do. The only technique required is the knit stitch. Believe it or not you don't even have to purl. Secondly it's a four row repeat pattern two of which are just knit across the row and it has a lovely texture to it. It's a fluffy stitch and it has nothing to do with the classic brioche. I don't know why the name is half brioche, but it's really easy peasy. It doesn't curl and although it's not reversible, I think it's a great stitch for blankets, scarves, cowls, hats, for the whole family because it's an unisex pattern. And I'm going to teach you how to knit it uh, in English style and continental style as well. So grab your needles, your yarn and let's get started. We have to cast on an even number of stitches. It will include the first and the last one, which are the selvage stitches, and they will be knitted on each row. First row, wrong side of the work. We have to knit every stitch. When you get to the last one, only on this first row, I like to knit it through the back loop so you don't, don't get a huge loop there. Second row, right side of the work. We start with the salvage stitch, which is a knit stitch, and now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find this pattern on my website, sewwilly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. So, the repeat is knit one and knit the next one inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below. Do you see the bump? Below the bump there is a hole. Insert the needle there. This is it. Knit one, knit one below. Net one, net one below, and repeat. Net one, net one below. Net one, net one below. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is only one stitch left, ending with net one. Third row, just again knit every stitch or knit across the row. Fourth and last row, we start with net one, and the repeat is net one, inserting the needle in the row below, net one, and repeat, net one below, net one, net one below, net one, net one below, net one. Net one below, 
knit one and then with knit one. So these four rows create the pattern and you have to repeat them until you reach the desired length. Now, if you need continental style, the first row is just knit across, knit every stitch. Second row, right side of the work. We start with the salvage stitch, which is a knit stitch. And now comes the repeat. Knit one and knit the next one, inserting the needle in the stitch from the row below. This is it. Knit one, knit one below. Knit one, knit one below. And repeat. Net one, net one below. Net one, net one below. If you have more stitches, keep repeating, ending with net one. Third row, just again, net every stitch or net across the row. Fourth and last row, we start with net one and the repeat is the same but we are going to invert the order. So start with net one, inserting the needle in the row below, net one and repeat. Net one below, net one, net one below, net one, net one below. Net one, net one below, net one, and then with net one. These four rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, there are two ways of binding off. You can bind off purlwise on the wrong side of the work after a row four, or you can bind off also, after a row four, on the wrong side, following the fisherman strip method. If you haven't watched that video, no worries. You will see it at the end of this one, and I also will leave the link below this video on the description box. And that's it for today, my little Willis. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and happy knitting.